So hi, um, I'm here to uh, talk about my studies. Uh, there's a couple of them. I looked at the 24-hour uh, uh, proteinuria one year in, in relationship to uh, uh, kidney transplantation, uh, namely uh, determinants of proteinuria after transplantation and uh, patient survival after transplantation. Um, for the first uh, study, um, uh, the determinants, uh, uh, specifically I looked at the uh, donor factors as well as recipient factors. Um, uh, for sure, uh, we found a very strong correlation with aging um, in donors uh, uh, giving their kidneys to recipients. Uh, uh, size mismatch, uh, i.e., the uh, larger the uh, uh, re, uh, the recipient in comparison to the donor uh, BMI, the higher proteinuria there was, and um, gender uh, mismatch, i.e., a female giving a kidney to a male uh, was a, um, an indicative of uh, post-transplant proteinuria. Um, the other thing that we uh, looked at uh, was the relationship of uh, uh, the HLA, uh, the presence of HLA antibodies uh, uh, on those patients in relationship to post-transplant proteinuria. Uh, we have uh, found that uh, there is very strong correlation between the presence of uh, DSA against HLA class 2 and uh, one year post-transplant proteinuria. And uh, those uh, patients who had both proteinuria and uh, class 2 uh, HLA antibodies uh, had worse uh, graft outcomes. Um, on my second study, I uh, looked at the uh, patient survival in relationship uh, to post-transplant proteinuria at one year. Uh, uh, the more proteinuria uh, was uh, associated, sorry, the higher rates of uh, proteinuria was associated with uh, increased uh, patient uh, mortality, uh, especially when you have the uh, proteinuria uh, more than uh, 1.5 grams per year.